And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Minnesota Twins taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. First pitch coming your way next. And now, your Tampa Bay Rays. Just about set to go. And on the hill in this one, Shane McClanahan. Very solid starters, able to repeat his mechanics on a consistent basis, which allows him to move through a lineup and get deep into a ball game. So just about set now. And now for the Twins, Byron Buxton. The 2-1. Sliced hard, but foul. And down on strikes he goes. And now one away. Now it's the Twins DH, Luis Arias. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. In the air, left field, a Rosarena settles under this one, snags it for the second out. Batting third, the shortstop, Carlos Correa. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Carlos Correa. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. And a foul ball. The one two. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing here for the Twins. And now the Rays will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. You're dialed into the show. Bottom of the first, towing the slab in today's game. Sonny Gray, what do we have on him? He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because, you know, guys are looking to hit balls down in the zone, get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count, and to opposite guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. And the righty deals. foul ball here's a one two and the one two misses to even the count the wind of the pitch on the ground to the left Urshela handles Lau out on the play batting second the shortstop. Wonder. Franco. Here's Wander Franco. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. Austin Meadows now. Left-hand batter waits. And there's a ball. The 2 1. And fouled off. Franco leads off second with one gone in the inning. 
runner, runner, runner takes off. Pitch outside. Throw. Tag. Out. Great throw by Gary Sanchez. Especially when you're trying to swipe third base, you have to get a decent jump off the pitcher. That wasn't it right there. And even though the throw skips in, they still slap the tag on him in time. Not a great attempt right there. Three and two now. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. Austin Meadows powers one out of here. The Rays strike first. It's one nothing. Chris, that ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat and a really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. Now it's Randy Rosarena. On the ground right side into the outfield base hit. And that extends the inning. Batting fifth. And now the hitter, G-Man Choi. The next offering misses. And that's ball two. Sonny Gray checks on the runner. The Rosarena dives back. Next offering is in for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. Two outs. Off the mark yeah, there. Ball. Counts full, three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should nope. definitely score it. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That, that keeps this good. inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Yandy Diaz now. He swings and fouls one off. First inning, and already up to 23 pitches. On the ground to third. Slings it across, and that is the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's an early 1-0 lead. All set for the start of the inning. And now, Jorge Polanco. The 1-1 one -one is upstairs. 2-1. and one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. That one in for a strike, two and two. Umpiring behind the plate for us today, Boog, is Mike Fillmore, and he is a good one. He'll reward pitches on the edges a little bit, but the main thing is he doesn't keep you guessing. Once he established that a pitch is a strike, it stays that way. The 2-2. Two -two. Next offering is outside. Yeah, Fillmore, kind of, I don't know, you'd say maybe an umpire's umpire, but really consistent, very fair. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Here's Miguel Sano. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Two and one now. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. 
good arm action on it, whatever it was. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. Just off the inside edge. And now filled up. Kicks and deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off speed pitch on this next one. And here it comes. Swings and misses. One away. Now batting Max Kepler. The right fielder. Max Kepler. And now the lefty. Lifted in the air out to left. A Rosarena settles underneath it. Makes the catch. And there's two away. Batting seven. The catcher. Gary Sanchez. And now it's the catcher, Gary Sanchez. And Chris, probably no other player better represents present-day baseball than this guy. A lot of power, a lot of strikeouts, and some walks. And down on strikes. And that is that. Twins wind up stranding one. They're down one nothing. Back now in Tampa Bay. Here's Manuel Margot. Really important for the pitcher to not get proud. Stay with the scouting report and don't throw something into his swing. He's kind of channeling Adam Dunn. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. Here's Mike Zanino. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Hit hard, base hit. Margot around third. He'll score, and they take a two-run lead. Picks himself up an RBI, and you connect, and it jumps off your bat like that. You're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Kevin Kiermeyer digs in now. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. And a swing and a miss. And there's one away. And now it's Brandon Lau. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Now batting Wander Franco. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Sanchez settles under it and makes the catch. Two down. No, oh, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat. So first and second with two outs. Now it's Austin Meadows. Righty delivers. Squibbed out in front of the play. Toss to Sano. Play made. That ends the inning. Rays get an RBI double. And it's two zip. Out of the third inning, here's Alex Kirilov.
and a 1 1. Just off the outside edge. He needs a quick 1 2 3 this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. Two one now. In the air out towards right center. Kiermaier sizes this one up and puts the squeeze on that. And there's one down. Batting nuts. The third baseman. Gio Urshela. Here's Gio Urshela. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because He's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field, but he can jump you if you make a mistake. On the ground to first, dives, but it kicks off his glove. The flip to the pitcher covering. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Now batting, the center fielder, Byron Buxton. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Here's Byron Buxton. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. And he grounds one back up the middle. Lau sends it to first. Third out. Twins are set down one, two, three, and they're down two nothing. Bottom of the inning, and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Randy Arozarena. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. That one the other way. Polanco over to first. They get the out on a Rosarena. Now batting first baseman G-Man Choi. And now the first baseman G-Man Choi worked to walk in his first trip to the plate. The one one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away down. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and played right into the hands of the pitcher. So up next, Yandy Diaz. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. Next pitch is outside. And it's 2 and 1. And he deals. That's off the mark. And the count is three and one. Here comes a pitch. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. The wind of the pitch. Tapped out in front of the plate. Not in time. He's safe. With two outs, you just want to find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy. So an infield single right there does the job. Nicely done just putting it in play and getting down to first to keep this inning alive. You never know what might come next as a result. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Manuel Margot. He walked and came around to score his first time up. Ground ball up the middle. What a stop. And they get the out.
The Rays strand just the one. They're up to nothing. Back here at Tropicana Field, John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Luis Arias. That one misses, and now three and one. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. And that one wrapped foul. And a pitch. Bounce to third. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Carlos Correa, the next twin up to hit, went down on strikes his first time through. Next ball offering three. is down low, and that's ball three. And a pitch. Fouls one away, and now three and two. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Nobody out. Runner at first. Bounce to the left side. And that's just foul. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and part of the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. First and second, no outs. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. A switch hitter batting right. Stays alive. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boog. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Base is loaded, nobody out. So up next for Minnesota, Miguel Sano. Next one is off the plate, and it's two and one. Well, this is a tough situation with the bases loaded, but the healthiest mindset is just try to get outs, one hitter at a time. Arise on third, Correa at second, Polanco at first with no outs. That one fouled off two and two. Hey, a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop up, something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. The pitch. Strike three, got him swinging. Huge strike out there. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Now it's the right fielder, Max Kepler. Popped out to left his first time. 1-1 one, one now. That one missing inside. One out, base is full. Ah. 
2 1 pitch is in there and the count is even. Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. Back to back strikeouts. Gary Sanchez now. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Back to work. 3 2 now. Out towards right center field. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Twins leave the bases loaded. They trail it here 2 0. Welcome back. Bottom of the fourth. Stepping in the long ball threat. Mike Zunino. Right hander kicks deals. And he chases that one. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Oh, really expanded the zone right there with that fastball off the outside corner of the play. Got him to chase it. That's a tough one to lay off of because it starts close to you and just continues to run away from you in that batter's box. So it's a really nice pitch with two strikes. Here's Kiermaier now. And a count one and two. One down, base is empty. Here's a rocket out to left. Kirilov pulls that one down. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting the second baseman, Brandon. Brandon Lau now at the plate. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing and thunder in that bat. And one and two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Rays retired in order. Nothing doing for Tampa, but they hold the 2 nothing lead. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the fifth. Here's the left fielder, Alex Kirilov. Ball to strike. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Jeffrey Springs up and throwing. Thompson getting cranked up as well. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And now two and two. And now the count filled up three and two. Payoff pitch. Got him. One away. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball really locked him yeah, up that, and it's a hitter it's not typically what you're Gio looking for you're trying to protect sure. away and then in so you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it'd be called a ball but either way that's a really nice pitch Giorgella steps in Check swing, but he went too far. And the count is one and two. And a pitch. And that one a little bit high. Boog, I'm not sure how he took that right there. I mean, that was an incredible two strike pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Back 
to the top of the lineup, and here's the Twins leadoff guy, Byron Buxton. This guy has turned into a beast. Swings and misses. Going to count one and two. Just okay. missed. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Zips it across. Out number three. Twins retired in short order. They trail things here to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for the Rays, Wander Franco. The one two. Stays alive. Now this is in the air down the line. And that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. In safely. It's a double at his second hit. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. And it's second. In the air right field. Kepler gets under it. Calls it in. And there's one away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Now batting. Left fielder. Randy. Randy or Rosarena. Next to hit for the Rays. Here's a one two got him swinging and there's two down he came out of his mechanics there typically likes to shoot the ball the other way oh, but that time a little the anxious G-Man Choi G-Man Choi next to hit for the Rays he's 0 for 1 here's a 1 1 a rope into right and that's a base hit Franco on his way home Throws to second. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores. you got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Yandy Diaz next to hit for the Rays. Nope. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. And a pitch. Choi at second with two down. So now two on and two outs. You get a walk and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, but Manuel Margot up to the plate. One two to Margot. And Margot able to spoil that one. Okay. 
Swing and a miss, and that is that. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now 3-0. And welcome back. Top of the sixth inning. Luis Arise stands in. Out towards left center. Grabs it on the run. And there's one down. Up next for Minnesota, the shortstop, Carlos. Now Correa up to hit. The wide to kick the pitch. And that one fouled off. The pitch. That one pushed foul. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. Cracks his bat and pops him up. Puts it away for the out. Now batting. Second baseman. Jorge Polanco. Jorge Polanco. The next twin up to hit. The pitch. Fought off foul. The pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Margot coming on. Makes the grab on the run. And that's the inning. 8 9 1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. Raise three, and the Twins nothing. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Giovanni Moran. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Bottom of the six. Here's some real power at the plate. Mike Zunino. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Some movement in the Twins' bullpen. Jorge Alcala getting ready to go. And it's even up. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Next one in the dirt. On the ground. Polanco collects it. Now the throw to first on the run. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Here's Kevin Kiermaier. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Next one misses, and a count two and one. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. And now the lineup turns over with one away. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Lau at the plate. Runner on the goal. It's a pitch out. Throw. Tag. Out. Great throw by Gary Sanchez. 
That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. The wind and the pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Buxton in position. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Matt Whistler. And he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team. Back now in Tampa Bay. New inning getting started. And here's the first baseman, Miguel Sano. The Twins in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. So now one and two. Right-handed reliever. That one fouled off. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. The next oh, offering right misses, right and the count is two and two. pitch just missed at the belt and fires fouled off again and it remains three and two kicks and deals that one misses so a lead off walk well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Max Kepler at the plate. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And ball four to a board. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. There's Gary Sanchez. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. The tying run at the plate. And a foul ball, he stays alive. First and second here, no outs. And a swing and a miss. And there's one down. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. So a lefty out of the pen, Brooks Raley. And he'll work on holding this lead. Now the left fielder, Alex Kirilov. Here's a one two swing and a miss and he got him. That's his second strikeout so far. Just one of those days for this lineup. You get a couple of runners on and you're looking at having a big inning and that strikeout right there just pours water on the fire. You look for the next hitter to step up and try to do something pick up his teammate and his club. So first and second with two outs Gior Shella to the plate. The lefty ready and a 1 1. In the air, out towards left center. Kiermaier makes the catch and that'll do it. Twin strand a pair. They trail in this one 3 0. Four 
Jorge Alcala. Not a pitch out of the pen here. Now pitching for the team. Number 66. Jorge Alcala. Bottom of the seventh. Here's the shortstop at the play. Wander Franco. Now he breaks his back. Makes the grab one down. Now batting. The designated hitter. Austin Meadows. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two away. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. Three, two. He goes off speed. Up gets the out. Tampa Bay. The left fielder. Randy. Arosa Reyna. Randy Arosa Reyna will hit next. And the 3 1. And now it's filled up. And that's ball four. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. So two on with two away. Yandy Diaz getting ready to hit. Two on, two outs. Swing and a ball popped up. Polanco makes the catch, and that'll do it. So the Rays strand a pair, but they lead it 3 nothing. JT Shagwa takes over on the mound. Number 84, JT. Back here at Tropicana Field, ready to begin the eighth. And now for the Twins, Byron Buxton. Next pitch misses. Now right, two, and two, two and two. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Righty to the plate. Way outside. And now three and two. And the righty deals. Slowly on the ground to short. Whips it to first on the run. Just got him on that one. The bat number two. Designated hitter. Luis Arias. And now the Minnesota designated hitter. Luis Arias. Hit well. Right field way back and gone. That was a moonshot, and they've got their first run. It's 
Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. And here comes Carlos Correa. And he deals. The punch out there, out number two. Now the cleanup hitter for Minnesota, Jorge Polanco. Jorge Polanco. Payoff pitch. That one out to right. Margot makes the catch, and that'll do it. One run closer on this solo shot for the Twins. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Joe Smith. Now up for Tampa Bay, Manuel Margot. And the right-hander deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Kepler ranging to his right. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. One down. Now batting, catcher, Mike. And now the catcher for the Rays, Mike Zunino. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. Next pitch is outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. And here it comes. Activity in the bullpen. Caleb Fieldball getting loose out there. The 3 1. And a foul ball. And the pitch stays alive. Three, two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two up, two down. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Two outs, base is empty. Kevin Kiermeyer next to hit for the Rays. Next offering is in for a strike. In the air, center field. Drops into the glove. And that is that. Rays go in order. One, two, three. But they still lead it 3 1. Andrew Kittridge gets handed the rock out of the pen. Now pitching for the Rays. Number 36, Andrew Kittridge. Welcome back. We go to the ninth, and now it's going to be Miguel Sano. One, two now. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. 
Now one away. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and it kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the guys that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. The 2-2. Two -two. Got him. And there's two down. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. Gary Sanchez at the plate. And a foul ball, he stays alive. In today's game, you look at exit velocity as a measure of process, and if guys are hitting the ball hard, eventually the results usually follow. Gary Sanchez, he is a guy that hits the ball hard. The one-two stays alive. And a one-two again. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Right side into the outfield. Base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. That's tremendous fight from him. And I know it's got the dugout fired up down there, down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. Here's the left fielder, Alex Kirilov. Tying run at the plate. Fouls one off, two and two. And he'll make the catch. Ball game. And the Rays claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. 3-1 ball game. Quick game. We were looking for a little bit more. It seemed at points the offenses were going to break out. But a total of four runs combined. Really good pitching and defense on both sides. Just a couple of key swings making all the difference. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. Seven men on base.